As welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Ink Corner. We have Osnick starting as the White Protoss bottom right ink corner. We have Rancor starting as the Grey Zerg. This is going to be a highlight series, primarily of Rancor, in just ahead of BSL Season 13. However, I'm going to be highlighting a handful of players as Rancor's opponents that are hopefully also going to be in BSL. So we got this one, we got Jumper next, and we also have a couple games with Kiko. You can actually see a lot of these players playing in the Shinhan Tank Pro League if you're looking for extra action of foreigners, which is, I, I since 80s Mullet has been casting a little bit, or I guess streaming a little bit less, oftentimes during my lunch break, that is where I am hanging out these days, or when I, I basically get back from lunch, I'm kind of settling down, going into work. But anyway, BSL Season 13 should be here right around the corner. Already did the Grast highlight. Wanted to do the Rancor highlight, obviously, because I feel like Rancor versus Grast was the best of BSL Season 12 as far as a series between the two players. If you have not already watched that series, I highly recommend going back and watching it from the beginning. It was a really exciting set. Rancor, it looks like he's going to sc uh, scout bottom left-hand corner first. And also, this is the winner of the New Worlds map contest. This is Wavelet. So, nat so natural expansion here. Decently wide, a little bit difficult. Honestly, you got the also the Zerg egg kind of pocketed in that corner, but a pretty wide natural expansion. A third base, which is nearby with kind of a little ramp uh, going down. So it can be difficult to kind of attack into. So you can see where it's important to kind of hold. I feel like this might be a Terran favored map, mostly because Terran can actually build, have a little bit easier time kind of building stuff out uh, this direction. But you can see it's a wide open uh, base. And if you can hold this huge territory, it looks like Osnick moving in with that scout. You can protect three bases fairly easily, and then beyond that, uh, you've got that third base at the 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock location uh, with gas right there. It looks like the... Let's go ahead and check the build order. It looks like we're seeing an overpool from Rancor. And you got kind of that same setup on the other side of the map, and then, you know, division, kind of an interesting ramp area right across the middle where... Yeah, it's kind of plugged up where you have to go into the middle. There is opportunity for Mutalus Karas over that back edge and uh, beyond that hold that thought i'm gonna go ahead and take vision off because it looks like osnick is actually just straight up opening three gate and this is basically an all-in a very aggressive all-in build versus zerg just wants to flood the game with zealots first zealots making its way out drone is going to be able to wander in with this scout and find the three gateways immediately so it's going to require so basically there needs to get, this second hatchery needs to come online, and there needs to be a lot of Zerglings and a lot of micro with those Zerglings to stay alive. Maybe even some sunken colonies, we'll see. First Zealot making its way down. The Zealot actually overextending a bit, which is going to allow Rancor to go ahead and get some free at least shield damage. One thing Rancor needs to be careful of is his overextending with his Zerglings. So initial shield damage done. It looks like the second and third Zealot pulling back and grouping up so and we'll see if he actually i'm looking for rancor to go ahead and pull drones off gas to potentially get zergling speed but otherwise have more minerals to be able to produce the zerglings to repel this attack we do have a single creep colony being built three more zealots pushing into this natural expansion more zerglings look like they're going to get a decent surround on these zealots the zealots trying to get a run by Sunken Colony is being built that should deal re with reinforcements, or at least delay reinforcements. And Rancor doing a pretty good job of getting this around and dealing with the rest of the Zealots on this front. More Zealots flooding forward, plenty of Zerglings there to intercept. And now Osnick may want to think about actually just pulling a lot of these Zealots back and protecting the front. Rancor continuing to get Zerglings around on these Zealots. And the Zealots, the Zealot count continues to plummet. More Zerglings in production, and actually Rancor feeling comfortable enough, he's going to go ahead and build an additional handful of drones. The Zealot's trying to get a run by. One does manage to get up the ramp. Rancor actually still going with gas. He's going to go ahead and go up the Hive Deck. As soon as he gets a Spire down, that will be game, because I do not think Osnick can go can have a... It looks like he managed to get a drone kill. He's sitting at 11 probes currently. He's building nothing but Zealots. It's going to be a while before that cybernetics core up. It looks like now he's going to go ahead and try to hold this low ground ramp with Zealots, interestingly enough. But once this layer is finished, fourth gateway. So what all Rancor has to do is get a Mutalisk up in the air. But in getting that Mutalisk up in the air, he needs to be careful that he doesn't get overrun by Zealots 
in the interim. So it has to be very, very careful, play it. And he doesn't need that many mutalisks, but he needs enough mutalisks in the air where it's a threat. In fact, he can just probably just send one mutalisk out, start attacking the probes. However, if he doesn't produce enough zerglings underneath with six zealots and potentially more to come, as you can see, additional gateways have been plopped down. He could just end up getting run over. He has the one creep colony, sorry, something colony to defend out of that natural expansion. He's continuing to build zerglings right there. Spire's about halfway finished. And it looks like Osnick showing no indications that he's moving off pure zealot. So if he's going to win it, he needs to do it with the zealots he has on the ground. Actually moving up with the probe to go ahead and take an additional, potentially a hidden base someplace. So Rancor, a lot of Zerglings grouped up. See, the Overlord sees all of the zealots incoming. Is he going to see, looks like he's letting... Needs to get those Zerglings down the ramp. Now moving the Zerglings forward. Sunken Colony about halfway down. One drone actually pulling off the line. And Osnick's attack force very easily repelled now. And with that, Rancor most certainly has won the match. Spire's up. Mutalisks are on the way. Three Mutalisks in production. Osnick trying to get cute and hide an additional expansion. The Zergling's flooding forward, though, and this game is essentially over. Four Zealots are going to be produced, but guess what? Zealots do not attack air. So, we will see at this stage of things. Rancor is going to take this match. Special thanks, by the way, to LML for getting me these replays. It was one of those things I'm like, hey, do you have any interim replays? And he was like, I've got some of Rancor. And I'm like, that's perfect, because they just highlighted grass. Also, I want to give a side shout out, uh, and I guess not shout out, more of like a query. If you are a European player out there randomly, or if you know a European player who's in the upper echelons, I guess, uh, and BSL participant, there's GG, please let me know where I can get replays because I really want to, I did the N18 battle highlights. I really want to do the same for uh, Europeans in that continent. So let me know if you guys have any like kind of the grouped up team battle stuff that happens there because I would love to do those highlights uh, in between BSL and just in general as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Quick one, we're going to move on between Rancor and Kiko, which should be exciting matches. Kiko is a pretty decent player as well. Thanks for listening.